Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 10th of November. Gary, I'm Philip Kingston. You are indeed and I'm Gary Peer, and we are right in the thick of spring, Philip. Gary, it's I've all got, happening. I've got to tell you the spring carnival has sprung, the has. spring selling season hey, has hey, sprung. Hey, yep. Congratulations to Marie Payne who rode the winner of the Melbourne Cup. Marie? First was it woman. Marie? Was it Therese Michelle Payne? Michelle Payne. Payne. Yeah. I should have. Well, there's a lot of pains. Yeah, and, you're, and a, of course, you're a pain in the, you yeah, know exactly. what? Well, there's a lot of pains, and I've been betting on the pains for years, Philip, and, uh, but it was. It was so Michelle this Payne. is a family that was well known to you? Oh, yeah. Patrick so, Payne, the brother's a trainer. Paddy Payne, the father. Yeah. Uh, tragic story with the mother. But Bernadette Payne, Therese Payne, Marie Payne, so Michelle viewers, Payne. So viewers, if you're involved in the yeah. racing industry, which, oh, yeah, Gary, which Gary's heavily involved in. So this is, a, this, is a family that, this is a family that's out there. So this is no... From Ballarat, this is not, no, uh, this is not a, a serious... small Australian secret. This is actually no, a racing no. family. And, and I've got to tell you, uh, it's the first woman to win the Melbourne Cup. Congratulations. Oh, right. yeah, Interesting. Because none of our viewers heard the heard the news. No, I'm going to lead into a good story. Okay. If you let me, instead of just interrupting me rudely all the time. But I was had a, actually had a meeting with a, a a bickering husband and wife this week, and they were sort of at a meeting. Going for only a meeting with a bickering many, husband and wife. And, and as Groucho Marx famously said. Marriage is a fine institution, assuming you, you want, want to live, live in, in an institution. institution. Uh, but this is... Go and, figure, a bickering and, husband and, and, anyway, and wife, and, and the wife said, don't forget, darling, who won the Melbourne Cup on Tuesday. Yes. And he said, yes, but it was a male that carried her over the line. I thought it was very, a very, uh, very that clever is, quip. That is, um, that is So I clever. weighed in and I said, yes, but uh, don't forget, the Maccabi Diva won three times and she carried a male over the line, so... Okay, okay. So well, so there gee, it is. gee, how politically correct you were. But Indeed. you've got to love, I've got to tell you, the whole winning of the Melbourne yeah. Cup, a quintessential Aussie moment yeah. where she basically tells the yeah. half the industry to get, get stuff. stuff. That's exactly and right. I, and I've got to tell you, I reckon she won every Australian yeah. heart with that. Oh, sure. Having said that, there were some letters to the editor in both yeah. the Sun Herald and the Age newspaper I read with some, some very, very uptight people yeah. who wrote in Chill saying, out. we didn't think that there that... Sort of, that that sort of dialogue. talk was appropriate. Mm. Well, actually, yes, it was. Exactly right. They're real people having yeah. a real moment. Good luck. Hundred percent. And and you got to love that that uh, intimacy between her and her her the brother. brother. Yes, uh, is. she's just won the Melbourne Cup, and that moment when she yes, leans beautiful. down over from the horse and gives yep. him a hug. It's uh, brought a tear to my eye. It is a it special is. thing, and it is the racist obstination of Philip with all of the different people. You've got Shinks and you've got Toffs from the UK, and all, yet and a, a bat homegrown girl. A battler on a fifty thousand. Yeah. Thousand dollar horse yeah, gets 100, up 123 and, and one. It was, so you know, to the sheik and all of those wealthy people that fly in on their jets, yeah. get that stuff luck. too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Let's talk about real estate. Phil, the clearance on the weekend. We sold 20 out of 20. Now you've alienated lots of people. <laughs> 20 out of 27. That's a 74 percent against an industry standard of. Well, Gary, the funny thing about this whole industry standard is we've yeah. got two reports now. Yeah. We've got realestate.com. Can't who, get a straight answer. Out I'm trying to give you the facts. We've got two yeah. reports. In the definitive, the definitive yeah. standard used to be the real estate. Mm. Institute of Victoria numbers. That's come in at 70% clearance rate. But the okay. realestate.com figures, which yeah. also obviously have got their finger on the pulse, comes in at 65. Okay, so well, let's say it's around 68. Let's call the middle well, line. Well, it's actually 65 and 70. That would be 67.5%, Gary. Yes. So once again, okay. we've smashed the industry average. But Put the towers up quickly. Thank yep. you. Pull them, down, pull them down. Let's All talk about the clearance yeah. rates around the nation, Gary. Yep. Uh, Sydney dropped to sub 60%. Is that right? Uh, there you go. And uh, clearly there is a tightening in the national real estate now, market. Sydney, Sydney and the rest of Australia got a taste of Philip Kingston as an auctioneer. We'll talk about that briefly. But let's just go through the auction results quickly. We can't go through them all. Be here all day. And you've babbled on already. And so I only long. want to see a smattering of them, you Gary, because, because you I think the vendor, like, I think our viewers just, are getting a little bit bored. But you're with, it long. No, but they're, they're, you're they're bored up. with your... Regaling of statistic after statistic after. That's not why they watch the show, Gary. They want to know what's going on. If you just like... let them know. Come 70 on. 70 with Parade, Philip. Now, oh, this yeah, was of reviewed. course. You're going to kick it off with an auction oh, that was... you did. Oh, well, it just so happens I did do that one. Yes, but this one, Philip, was reviewed on GPTV. We shot it from there. Did. And it was sold for $1,820,000 in excessive reserve in the quoting price. Congratulations to buy and sell a Philip in Rimple uh, Avenue in St Kilda. Competitive auction. Number of buyers rocked up on the day there. Well, so what's the name of that street? Two and a half. In Rimple. Irimple? Yeah. Okay. How do you spell it? I R Y M P L E. Okay. It's a good Scrabble word, that yeah, one. It is. Irimple. What, what, what does what Irimple mean? Say it? Well, what would you call it? I don't know. But it's just it's a funny... I Wimp, I Wimp or something. <laughs> um, uh, Irimple. Okay, let's talk about I don't know. Louise Street. Have we got Oh, footage? Louise, Louise, I love you, I love you, oh, Louise, Louise. I love you that. You get 20 minutes. I have it all week. All right, um, Gary. Well, that was featured. 
Go on. Shout out to Sky News yeah. and Jackson. Thanks, Sky Jackson News. from Sky News. Who hey, Jackson. The most delightful guy. Action Jackson, this they call This was a live feed, Gary. It was. This is amazing. The technology that is now available, one cameraman, yep. and I'm now talking to you, Alex, our cameraman. Yep. One cameraman shows up with a fairly yes. significant camera, yes. uh, a little uh, box on the ground, mm, which has got some sort up. of mystery yes. technology in it, mm. and his iPhone, and yep. an earpiece to me. Yep. So he films me. I've got an earpiece in my ear connected to his iPhone yep. and I'm now talking live crossing yep. to the news desk at Sky News where there's a real estate show on. Yes. And it's and across then, Australia. And then show. he's filming the crowd and filming the auction as a yep. live feed to Sky yes, News all with one person, yep. an iPhone and a camera. Yep. In the old days, Gary, when yep. you were a young man, they'd have to roll up with that big van and the massive mm. pole yeah. and, uh, and when three, you, three people. Oh, yeah. And when you were the old days, when you were young, they used to put a hood over them and go <laughs> with a big bulb, yeah? Go on. <laughs> I like that. That's quite, fun. That's quite fun. I got you back. Anyway, yeah. it, it was quite fascinating. And uh, Rupert Murdoch, again, if you yes. are listening, we are trying to get this show syndicated around the world. We're yes. cheap at the moment. You oh. can get us cheaply. Still, why you can? You, you wait. You wait. We're going to get exactly snapped right. up. Wait Sky to... News, you might own it, but let me be very clear with You've you. You've put Rupert. it out there now. You've put our face publicly. You're not the only person that's interested in us now. Better competitive tension. Phones are ringing, Rupes. Correct. Phones are ringing. Correct. Uh, seven, We're uh, still available. We're still yeah, available. Just. Though. 97 Marriage Road, Philip, was a competitive auction. Uh, interesting situation there. Reserve 1350, sold for 1460 Sold very well and competitively. Well done to you, Philip. Thank sold you. Sold that property. Uh, somebody who saw it from our SMS blast. Yes. It wasn't the first time yes. this weekend that our great internal technology of reaching people, Philip, is you know finding we're sending buyers. out now over half a million SMSs per year? Is that right? That's a lot of SMSs. That's it's incredible. Right? It's getting the results and we're getting an outcome. Yep. 197 Hotham Street, Philip, that was a good one. Sold competitively. Mm -hmm. uh, reserved there uh, was somewhere in the range of 780 to 850. Opposite's quoted. Uh, Ripon Lee Ripon Lee Gardens. Gardens. Phil, you can go Beautiful. there for scones and tea. Uh, you if can. you live across the road. 1032 Glen Huntley Road. So Number you are going through them all now, No, I'm not finished if you let okay. me. 1032 Glen Huntley Road was undisclosed, but uh, we shot GPTV from there. Lovely and family in bought that of range film. because it was a development site as well. Yes. And uh, the, the, I reckon the neighbours in the area are going to be pretty happy with that outcome they because they're all fearing that it was going to get pulled down and a block of apartments was going to go up. But, but no, no a young happened. family uh, with a delightful child at Caulfield Grammar. Yes. Uh, I had a bit of a chat with him. Yeah, they are very nice, nice people. people. We just sold the brother's house, in fact. Did we? Uh, we did. Okay. Yes. We were uh, Philip, clued let's, in let's, let's, before we go into this weekend's auctions, let's get... Let's get down to the big news item of the day, and that is this Thursday night, we have secured a cinema, and let's have a look at what's showing right now. This organization, do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. Look around you, James. Everything you believed in. A ruin. Why did you come? I came here to kill you. And I thought you came here to die. Well, it's all a matter of perspective. Yes, Philip, Spectre is showing. And if we go back a little bit, let's go back a few years to the last James Bond because we talked about reigniting this... Uh, this uh, outfit that we yep. had, yep. and uh, this little bit of staging. Let's go back to the last time there was James Bond, and we sponsored a show. And welcome to the James Bond edition of GPTV. Gary, we're wrapping up another incredible week in real estate. And um, for those viewers that can't kind of work out what's going on here, um, this is the James Bond edition because uh, it is our favorite movie, Gary. <laughs> this <laughs> what, is so stupid. What's happened I don't to know. our life? <laughs> 
We didn't sponsor the show, Gary. We actually had the show. I mean, there was no sponsorship involved. It well, was it was our show. We well, paid for it. Well, I'm saying we, you know, sponsored a client. And no, even no, there. We so sponsor well, it. We, we held paid, we okay. held a client film night, Gary. We didn't sponsor it. The semantics. We held, no, it's, it's very it's clear. Nonsense. There is a huge difference between looking sponsoring something. Just all bitching no, today about I nothing, just, about rubbish. I just want this show to be factual. It's just we stupid. had We it's entertained factual. our clients. We didn't sponsor an evening. Uh, there is there are tickets you know, available. You know now we have, we, are, we have a no, limited number of tickets available. The good news for GPT viewers is, is you're in is, first. You're in first. Uh, we have a limited number of tickets. We've booked out the entire cinema for six thirty and nine thirty. Uh, we are going to be having a wonderful night. We are looking forward to hosting, but you haven't got much time. Not sponsoring hosting. Ho hosting. We're going to give you. Uh, entry. We're going to give you some popcorn. We're going to give you a drink, Philip. I don't know if there's an ice cream. Did, did we go to Choc Tops? Because they're quite, not sure. quite expensive. I don't think we tops. did. No. I think we stopped at popcorn. But we did, and drink. we did go to the popcorn. Popcorn's quite good for you. Yes. Um, you think got so? a high fibre count in Is popcorn? That right? That's great to know. I'm sure people are looking at the popcorn high fibre count as their reason to come and then just watch a movie. Correct. But well, how yeah. much do I love James Bond? You do. I've always fantasised about being James Bond. I reckon Gary. Downfall the last one was the best James Bond movie ever. Well, I don't know where the spectre's going to beat it. I've got to Gotta love. Have you seen some of the interviews with Neil Craig? With Neil Craig. Daniel Neil Craig. <laughs> Neil Craig is the is the football coach. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, but Daniel Craig yes. could not be more over being James Bond. Have yeah, you no, seen some of the no, interviews? I seen it, yeah. uh, he, in fact, how he is getting away yeah. with kind of bagging the entire James Bond. Roger Moore got there. He became a, a, a uh, he became a. It's pathetic. Angry James Bond know, as well. It's, it's it was terrible. And, and and apparently yeah. uh, Daniel Craig got paid fifteen million yeah, pounds. Not enough money. Right. Where's the gratitude? When you get paid 15 million yeah. pounds to do something don't suck up complain. to the producers yeah. suck up suck it in yeah. doesn't get me payday doesn't get any better than I that remember when he started off being an actor he said oh, one day maybe i'll just be james bond yeah. and then i'll just be bored of it and, then, think, and then he gets there and yeah. it's just too Thumbly. much for you but uh, roger moore was the same because yeah. my uncle actually met him yeah and all he did was complain the whole time it's not worth it it's too dangerous i don't get paid and he said all those yeah. things yeah. but anyway yeah. let's well, talk he was, about he was the worst james bond I ever he was the best james roger bond. moore he was the best he james was bond. pathetic don't be he was the most effeminate james bond that there has ever been oh, there was on. nothing there was nothing tough was about him. Oh, who was the best? George Lazenby, I suppose, was he? Was no, I've right? got to tell you, they all say that Sean, Sean Connery is the best. I, don't, I actually better. don't buy that. Roger I actually better. say Daniel Craig's been the best James yeah, Bond. And look how happy he is about it. Look, why don't you just, just come to the movies with us? Now, hang on, to get a ticket, you've got to email yeah. Eliza, because Eliza's running the show. Yeah. She is also the uh, number one corporate support person in Victoria. She is, Gary. You know that. Yep. She's got an award, award winning. Uh, she oh, so winning. she's coordinating the whole thing, so you must email her. On Eliza C at GaryPia.com. We're putting it up on screen now. And why don't you, when you email her, tell her who you think the best James Bond was, and we're going to give that result on the night. Okay. Why don't we do that? So oh, please well, let us know who, exciting, your, who your favourite James Bond is. Exciting on the show. That it's going to be better. And when. And when 150 people all get the yeah. same one, what are we going to give 150 prizes no, away? I didn't say there'd be any prize. I just wanted to prove well, you People wrong, are not prepared to do anything, Gary, unless there's a prize oh, attached to it. We'll give you a prize because whoever is the most popular James Bond will put a name in a hat and we'll pull something pull out, it and, out give and give them something. Pull it out and give them something. Chopped up. Chopped up. That's generous. You, uh, that makes a big difference to what I was all going right, to do. Come on, nothing. let's get on. All right, this let's weekend's auction, so let's review them very quickly. Philip, we start off this weekend, that is Saturday the 14th of November at 10.30 with a trio of offerings. Philip, uh, I'm going to be in the Esplanade in St Kilda. This is a wonderful property uh, right opposite the beach, Phil, and I'm very excited about it. Why don't you tell us a little about it? Gary, what a great position. That is two bedrooms, one bathroom, two car spaces. And buy this and get set for summer, Gary. You couldn't find a better location. The next auction of our 24 this weekend over 12 suburbs is in Melbourne, Philip, St Kilda Road, unit 802 at 610 St Kilda Road. I love St Kilda Road, Gary. That is two bedrooms, one bathroom, one security car space, dramatic uh, views from that apartment, Gary. Beautiful. You can have a little sleep in because you're a bit quiet on Saturday, Phil. Wow. Uh, it is Leo Samuel doing the 10.30 auction in Daniel Road, Malvern East. Don't we love Malvern East? Shout out to all investors. Come and have a look at this. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Also good for owner occupiers, but the reason I say investors there, Gary, it's close to Monash Uni and you'll never have trouble getting a tenant, particularly if you lease it through the Gary Peer and Associates Leasing Division. There are four auctions at 11.30. Philip, you're going to be doing one of them, but you're not going to be doing the one in Alexander Street uh, because Jeremy Rosens has those auction honours and this is a fine property. Gary, it is a good property. Two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, a lock-up garage. That is a really good property in a dynamic location. 
Our father street number one is a home that I have actually had an involvement with in the past. I don't know if you remember who used to live there, Philip, but we know it. Uh, Lee or Samuel auctions it. This is a terrific semi-detached home in a very two affordable Two bedrooms, price range. one bathroom, off-street car parking for two cars. We recommend those semis. We love them, Gary. Great opportunity to get into the South Caulfield market. You awaken on your Saturday morning slumber, Philip, to the auction in Snowden Avenue. I You'll might be go doing out that for breakfast or do go to the gym perhaps Why Saturday morning, that? Gary. That's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, uh, two-car space. Uh, solid brick villa uh, and we love Snowden Avenue its access to everywhere is just remarkable a gem an affordable gem finds its way to the market Philip I'm auctioning at 1130 Virginia Court in Crawford South Gary you've got to love Virginia Court that I is do. Uh, it's a great court because there's a lot of 50s houses there three bedrooms one bathroom double lock-up garage in original condition check out that yellow kitchen Gary I'm loving yellow in the kitchen I'm coming back here Philip to Inkerman Road we'll be talking more about Inkerman Road shortly but this time it's at 750 Road. We've got about five boards. I know how good here. is it. I was I driving along Inkerman here, and going, I'm loving Inkerman. We're doing Inkerman. all right here, aren't we? Yeah. I think we need to do a letter drop to Inkerman saying we're loving Inkerman. Eight at seven fifty. Inkerman, tell us about this one. Phil, I'm auctioning. Two it. bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Gary, move straight into that one or put it into the investment portfolio. That's good real estate in a great location. You broke into song over that, Phil, as you will with this one. We did shoot the Carnegie Report, one of our uh, one of our compatible shows with GPTV. Phil, it's on the called the Carnegie Report. Mm. Uh, Samuel loves this. It's one at 68 Mooney Road. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, off-street car parking, lovely garden areas. Gorgeous facade, Gary, much like you, really. It's got a lovely facade, although different to you, this has got a lovely facade and there's substance behind it. <laughs> oh, okay, very close. Warm and fuzzy on the inside, Phil. Uh, in Fulton Street, we've got a wonderful apartment, Jeremy Rosen's auctions. This is an affordable opportunity again, Phil. What a great location Fulton Street is, Gary. This is a garden apartment, two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Loving those polished timber floorboards. Check out the kitchen. Doesn't get any better than that. 12 auctions this weekend, Philip, and you're just 12 doing auctions. two on that Saturday. That would be 12 auctions so on, on Saturday, Saturday, Gary. And you're only doing two of those. Wow, they're so wheeling me out to pasture, aren't they? Sure are. Those young buck auctions. Just in, coming through just in time as well yeah, I say okay. uh, 22 Tennyson Avenue that one's going off at am I one, doing that one it's going at 1 30 p.m. Philip don't be late well, miss Gary, the time. I should be able to put my teeth get in lost. by that hour you should and you should find it it's just off Glenai Road thank you Gary Tell three bedrooms two bathrooms off-street car parking for two cars that is a glamorous property I love Tennyson I love that property I actually love you too oh, Gary that's very kind of you Phil after you've abused and sold me it's lovely uh, well, did we sell that house before because I remember we did a GPTV episode from either there or the one next door. So Gary, and I actually uh, clearly lost dementia badly. is setting in. Although I do remember that. Uh, I do remember that episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That episode it was actually the other side to that property. Okay, well, and I remember dementia. it was the middle of summer, it and was. we were sitting outside. Off. Jackets off. Jackets off. It we'll was the jackets soon. off edition. edition. Uh, Phil, two thirty. We wind out the weekend. You can go back to your slumber. 2.30, it is going to be Leo Samuel, who's the last man standing as auctioneer, auctioning this one for Arlene Joffe. I can't believe it, I, lo I love that address. That's a beautiful yeah. apartment. Check out the to polished timber floorboards, the glamorous kitchen. I love that island bench, two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Uh, that's a good property and great location. We have a house of the week, Phil, and we are sitting in it right now. And I'm just loving this magnificent home. Does it get any better than Gary, this? Gary, it doesn't get any better than this. Have it's a look around this house, viewers, 659 income. Road, Caulfield North. A glamorous reinterpretation of the 60s. Uh, the vendors bought this house uh, in its original condition from somebody who I think built it, yes. lived here for about 30 years. Yep. Uh, these people who have got the most incredible style and, and a good looking too. couple too, they Gary. Are, I'm saying them. that for two reasons. Firstly, they are a good looking couple and secondly, they're in the next room listening to everything we're saying. <laughs> exactly. That's true. But they true. are a good looking yes, couple. Five bedrooms, three bathrooms, off street car parking. But I'm in love with these houses, particularly yep. when they're reinterpreted and given a 2015 makeover. Yep. Check out the pool, check out the back garden. Setting. Check out the awnings, Gary. Check out the barbecue setting. Check out this incredible kitchen meals, family room. Stunning it is. Check out that gorgeous and intimate sitting room. Yes. But my favorite feature is the way you arrive at this property yes. through the bamboo and that great feng shui little pond area at the front. Gary, mm -hmm. I'm loving this house. I'm loving this position. And I'm looking forward to the auction, which will be on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes. At 10.30, yep. I'm going to have four double espressos before I yep. get here. The coffee van will be here, Gary. I'm excited. I'm doing three or four auctions on Sunday, but I'm, I've made myself available to be here at this one because this is an extraordinary home. It, it is, is a worthy house of the week, Philip. Rupert Murdoch, if you're special. looking to buy something in Melbourne, yeah. this could be the house for you. Yep. And Jerry Hall. 
So how, how about, about that? that? <laughs> Good on you, Rupert. I've got Go to tell you, you got to love. Go uh, first of all, I'm yeah. a big fan of Jerry Hall's, yeah. right? Because she uh, oh, she's she was out in Australia. Um, yeah, she did a fantastic play. I, I didn't see it, but apparently she was she really good. Place. But she was Mrs. Robinson. She's 59. Did you know that? She was Mrs. Robinson. Yes, I did know that. Yeah. She's 59 years of age. Yes, to you, Mrs. And Robinson. And looks about 40. Yeah, she's right? incredible. But she's 59, and she's going out with Rupert Murdoch, who yeah. is 84. Yeah. And she's on record saying this about older men prior to her meeting Rupert Murdoch. This gives you hope, doesn't she's, it? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. She said, I like older men. Mm. Older mm. men. Older men, yes. Why yeah. does she yeah. like older men? You tell me. Because when she's standing beside them, she says she looks better. Oh, very good. <laughs> How much better could she look? Uh, anyway, I have that. viewers, as you will know, met Rupert Murdoch. I Not met Jerry him, Hall. No, I met him in January he of did. this year. Oh, and all yeah. I've got to say How is... How happy was he to is, see you? Well, he was. Just pushed uh, you aside uh, like a leaf. No, he didn't. He, did he took the time to say hello to me, no, Irene, and my boys. That's true, actually. And I've got to tell you... He did. If I didn't know that he was 84, yeah. I would have thought he was 65. Really? The energy and the charisma that radiated from that well, man uh, were incredible. And that's an extra suck up. For the show that you're going to give us. <laughs> if you don't get it now, you never will. Correct. Uh, two at two, three, seven. Well, that's enough about Inkerman Road, and we got right off track. But what a beautiful home! It's a beautiful house. Ten thirty. Yeah. You're going to get to one auction. Back to work, Gary. Two at two, three, seven. Nearham Road is auctioned at the same time in uh, Carnegie Zone with yep. our Carnegie expert Leo Seven. Three Take bedrooms, yours. one bathroom, double lock-up garage, Gary. That's uh, look, viewers. Uh, I'm a big fan of these single-story villas. They're only going to go up in price as land becomes more and more expensive, and there's pressure on developers to build more two and three-story properties. The single-story properties are going to go up in value. You heard it first on GPT. I got a split uh, shortly after this auction, Phil, because I'm going to go to Balaclava Road to this fan. Fantastic older style. Cool as. cool as it is, Phil. Going up at 11.30, I'm meeting Daniel Fisher to auction this one. Gary, you may slip down to Las Chicos, our, uh, our coffee van sponsor. I won't have time. Uh, because they're just down the road, and that's one of the benefits of buying this property. Three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and that is huge inside. And you've got to love that building. It is just spectacular to look at. Well, I might have a break after that. You might be right, Phil. I might just do that. You're going to be, however, at 20 Blanche Street selling this wonderful property. What a great street Blanche Street also Gary, is. I'm loving this house, 763 square metres of land, so it's a big block, a single storey, Californian bungalow, uh, that's four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, plenty of off-street car parking, one of the best kitchen meals family areas you will ever see. I love that house and I love Blanche Street. Jeremy Rosens meets young Michael Jonas, a very, very delightful young professional he is too, in Westbury Street, St Kilda Reese, to auction at... Uh, 11.30am. Gary, shout out to the developer of this property, 94 Feet, a young yes. development company got in getting huge runs on the board. This is one of their earlier developments, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, double lock-up garage, uh, and of course, roll out your front door into Carlisle Street. Talking about uh, young developers and young agents, there's another very successful young agent by the name of Daniel Fisher. Who yes, works for one us. of our stars. Delightful young man, he is a star. Uh, he works alongside the award-winning Judy Zhu and with the team down with Krongold, Sally Zellman, and Adam Pagel and, and Elisa Schillett. Uh, he's going to be at Shout out to Eliza, who just does the yeah. most incredible we job, Gary. Eliza, she we? is the glue that binds that yep. team together. She does all those crazy people. Philip, you're going to be in Cadby Court with Daniel Fisher and team. I for am. This wonderful looking four property. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, double lock up garage. That is stunning throughout, Gary, from the front door to the back fence. That's our And the front fence is pretty good, too. That's our only 12.30 auction for some reason. Philip, 1.30, I'm going to be in Alma Road. This is an oversized apartment, Philip. It yes. is massive. And a beautiful property in a very small boutique block, nestled at the back, uh, a recommended buy, Phil. Take Three bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Great part of Alma Road. And yes, a very generous apartment, Gary. Very rare to get something as big as that. You're going to be busy. You've only got six or seven auctions, Phil, but you're going to be in Narong Road at 1.30, meeting Glenn Bricker. Take Narong a Road, Caulfield North, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, lock-up garage. Uh, and uh, that is just a fantastic property, Gary. Phil, at 2.30, I'm fortunate enough to be doing the auction of number one, Acacia Street. Elsewhere. I'm a bit now, jealous of that, Gary. I enjoy it. You'd be a little jelly. Yeah. Uh, this is a magnificent How did you uh, pull the home? short straw well, for that? you know what? The vendor went out and obviously just selected the best auctioneer in the company. And I've got to tell you, shout out to the vendors yeah, of that they house. are lovely people. How lovely about couple? that video tour that she did? Well, you should go on to that video tour. We've had over a 1,000 views now. As you would. Uh, and 900 is, of them were mine. It is a very interesting video tour because it, we've done something different here, uh, and this is very innovative we've actually got the vendor involved in the tour yeah uh, with Jeremy Rosens but that's a beautiful home one number one Acacia Street uh, I'm going to be auctioning that one Philip and looking forward to it at 
2.30 What a gorgeous looking house it is too, Gary. So you're going to be at something that I consider to be an outstanding value opportunity. We're quoting between 900 and a million dollars, yep. I think, uh, for this home. A freestanding home in Elstwick just doesn't exist for that sort of home. Do you know what I've got to tell you, Gary? I reckon yep. the vendor of Acacia Street should mm -hmm. come and buy this one. Yeah, and, and do give, a number and, there. And, and absolutely. Well, she Three bedrooms, one bathroom, mm -hmm. off-street car parking there. Uh, that's a very livable house, Gary, but uh, it, it needs a bit of schmicking up. But, but it's livable now. Value, I know, I know. Point? So that gets you right yeah. into the heart of one of the best areas of Elston. Wick at, a, at an apartment price. I mean, so. even if it sells for 10% more or whatever. Correct, it's great correct. Loving that property. Payne Street, Phillip, Green Gables. Yep. I like to say Green Gables because I named that building. You that block did, building. Gary. Yep. I remember that. Shout out to um, Sam Davidoff. Yeah, he was a developer uh, Who was that. the developer there, who's yep. done some of the best developments in Melbourne. Yes, he's a good one. Um, and a shout out to his son, Gary. He's a very good architect, Rob isn't he? Davidoff. Yeah. It's, you know, there's a property family. There's a property family. The father's a developer. The son is an, an architect. architect. Yes. And the son, Rob Davidov is an award-winning architect. He he's got some. Uh, he's got an entrance into I think this year's archite architectural award. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah. Uh, but a, he a is a, he is a great architect. Yeah. Uh, and just nice to see a family in the property game. Doing well. Well, when I got together with Sam when he was building that, uh, he said I need a name, and I said I like Green Gables, and he said that's it. So uh, come by the best unit in the block in Green Gables. It's unit number seven. If I'm not mistaken, it's one right at the back. Floor. It is Gary, and, uh, and what is the best one? And there. what a rip snorter it is uh, and that's uh, obviously a very detailed real estate term a oh, rip snorter uh, it's not used often enough well i've got term. to tell you if you think about the ripping market that we're in yes. and snorting <laughs> which is a bit of a crossover to the spring carnival because horses snort they do. Uh, so, so, so this is a rip snort and, and because this is near the race yeah. course so it it's is. a ripper rip. of a property and it's a rip snorter <laughs> snorting you can hear the horses snorting completely from the garage. stupid yeah. uh, expression rip exactly. snorter but this is a rip snorter three four bedrooms two and a half bathrooms uh, car parking there for two oh, cars. It's been a long uh, addition if you're still watching. terrific. Good on you. Uh, four in the home straight. 4.30, Philip, 21 home straight, Mitchell. There's another spray. It is, racing, I know, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yes, yeah, brilliant, yeah. so witty. Uh, that one goes on 4.30, Mitchell Road, Philip. That's a great street. We just sold one next door. We did, Gary. Mistaken, this yeah. is number 21, and this is the most amazing home. Uh, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, basement car parking for two cars, a huge storeroom. I love that property, Gary. I love the way it all orientates to the west, and it's got this most amazing, most most amazing most, yes. alfresco era. I love that property. I love Mitchell. Uh, that's a wrap up, Gary, for the weekend's that's property. One, Bumper one. edition. Yep. Bit of a shout out to uh, Ben Kingston and uh, Daniel Peer, oh, yes. who have wrapped up They're their finished, yeah. VCE year. They're <laughs> finished. And we have our well, school. Well, I've got my school fees behind me. You've still well, got young means. Well, I don't know. If he follows the peer tradition, he might be doing year 12 again, but I don't think he will. Yeah. This, nah, nah, this he's, kid's he's clever. Going to breeze through. But and a shout yeah. out to them. They've and worked, how's your kid? Yeah, they've worked, genius. They've worked so hard, and uh, hopefully they'll get a uh, into a university mm. course and go out into the real world, Gary, and get real jobs unlike their parents. Indeed. Well done, boys. Well, their fathers, for anyway. Fin for finishing it off. And by the way, there's a, there's a group that watch this show, a group of students, you believe it, that actually watch and enjoy this show. They've got a name. I'll yeah. tell them this, but g'day to the group of people at really? the school that watch this show. But haven't you got any better to do with well, exams and girls? And I've got to I tell you, they probably learn more about life yes. from this show, oh, Gary, yes. than they do in studying all of the ridiculous things they learn at school. I've got to tell you, for the head, the, for the principals of schools around Australia, uh, well, you, the curriculum is so well, I don't out you, of date, it is ridiculous. Well, how get about with yesterday? the 21st hey. century, you can all get stuffed, actually. Hey, how about yesterday, the, one of the principals took their... That. How about Some yesterday? Some great principals out the, there. One of the principals took their kids to chases. Did you read, have you heard that? Read what, that? the gay nightclub? Well, it's not necessarily gay. It is, gay. Well, it's called, chase, What's it called? Gary, you drive, wolf, wolf, you, wolf, wolf, you drive wolf, past the chases in Chapel what's Street, it called? It's and not it clearly a says this is a gay nightclub. Yeah, but it's not. I don't know if it's gay. Anyway, they took... Which, they, one which of the is school, great. One of the called... Poof Doof or something. It's got a yeah, name. Yeah, Poof yeah. Um, but one of the principals has said to the kids, look, I think we're going to give you a lesson in life. Let's all go to the nightclub and How talk about that? fake IDs. Or the, well, it's being slammed in the paper today. But well, who was the, what, from the which, from which, good from which school? Uh, so I can't remember, but anyway. Because that the other side of town, enrolments yeah. are going to go <laughs> through, through the, the roof. Exactly roof. Right. That's a madcap edition this week of GPTV. So much to talk about and what an exciting yeah, time but, of year. But we want to see you at the movies on Thursday yes, night. Eliza I know it's C, spontaneous yeah. and I know yeah, it's no. not much warning. We left a bit but, late. But you know what? Got in trouble. We're, we're here. Yeah. yeah. It cost us a fortune yeah. and there was a stuff up, let's face yeah. it, because these invitations should have gone out last week. But we want to see you there on Thursday yeah. night because let's face it, what else would you be doing on a Thursday night? We'll see you at James Bond, a big week in real estate upon us. I'm Gary P. I'm Philip Kingston. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week.